that we see an increasing acceleration among enterprises to optimize operations with digital processes and meet the customers where they are digitally. So how can enterprises manage this change in a secure way? Steve Sipley is the Vice President and Business Line Executive at IBM, and he's here to share the latest trends and how you can prepare your enterprise for this transformation. Welcome, Steve. Thanks, Ronald. You're welcome. So over the last year and a half, enterprises have significantly accelerated the shift from optimizing operations with digital processes as the customers become increasingly digital. So can you share your experience regarding this infrastructure challenges that enterprises are facing in this transition? Yes, absolutely. Well, a really great question and, and certainly what many of our customers are dealing with these days. In fact, uh, we did a recent survey out of the IBM Institute of Business Value of about 15,000 uh, CEOs and CIOs and operational flexibility and agility came out as the number one issue uh, for those businesses. In fact, that's more than a third higher response rate than any other issue that they're dealing with. And so they need this flexibility in their IT infrastructures to respond very quickly. So elastic demand capability, both whether their IT infrastructures are on-premises or they're extending into a hybrid cloud type of environment. And so you know, one of the things we do within IBM, right, is give them this capability to you know, either pay as you go from a consumption basis, but also to instantly scale. And the power technology explicitly is really good at that because you can scale up and scale down instantly without having to re-architect or, or change or, or modify your applications and get the kind of performance that many co companies have needed, particularly in this time of uncertain uh, challenges that we've been dealing with over the last 18 months. Power 10 is gonna take that to a whole new level, in fact, right? With the most overall scale in the industry uh, from a system standpoint and capability, but still building into it this elastic, efficient scaling and capability delivering you know, 50% more performance than we ever have before, even though we're already still the, the most scalable platform in the industry, but doing it in a sustainable way from an energy standpoint as well, because sustainability is also growing in, in customers' uh, importance and, and requirements that they're building on. Yeah, you're referring to these 15,000 clients that you help make this infrastructure transition. Can you share some success cases and address the role that data and AI play in this transformation? Yeah, so data and AI is central to this discussion, right? As customers try to understand where their, uh, you know, our customers want to understand where their customers are, right? Which is their core data, their transactional data that they process every day. And then bringing new applications to that environment is really key. Uh, for them to be able to to start to deliver these new services that have that, that have been needed, you know, as people shift into this remote kind of working, remote work from home, uh, and this whole environment of increased shipping uh, demand as well. And so, one of the things that we provide is this flexibility on that platform as well to bring new applications and capabilities, connect to your traditional applications and data in a way, integrate AI in in, in a methodology that gives them that better insight to deliver new capabilities. We have you know, banks uh, that have been able to accelerate their ability to do uh, mortgage uh, processing, both from an accuracy perspective, as well as process more, which has been key, uh, you know, particularly here in the US where uh, mortgages and, and uh, um, housing demand has, has dramatically increased. We've improved financial institutions' ability to do credit risk uh, and that analytics by bringing, again, machine learning, deep learning capability to the applications and the transactions they're driving. So those are just a couple of different uh, examples. And again, you know, what we built into the new Power 10 systems that we're delivering here is actually the ability to bring that workload, those uh, AI workloads, right on the core itself to simplify the management of the infrastructure and actually improve the security while getting that better performance. And talking about the security, and you were talking about implementing new applications. And when I talk to executives about new projects and, and new applications, the first question they ask is, what's the impact on security? So how can enterprises pre prepare for this end-to-end -end security? 
Yeah, security is actually the number two response that we got out of that survey. And it certainly has increased dramatically in you know, our customers' view because of all of the you know, malware that is out there, the ransomware, the data breaches that we're seeing, it seems like almost every day. And so you really have to have a comprehensive view. Your, your question around end-to-end security is really important. We think that starts with the most secure overall platform. One of the critical elements of security is to minimize the threat profile that's available to these hackers who are spending all of their time trying to find ways in. So if you have a system that isolates down capability overall to be able to, to ensure that they're, it's the most secure, that's the right place to start. Then you need to be able to manage security in a very simple way. And so security and compliance software that, that we provide, that many of our uh, partners provide, that enable you to ensure that you understand the security profile of your platforms is critical. One of the biggest you know, exposures that we see out there in the marketplace today is actually you know, systems and platforms that may not be up to date with the latest security updates and, and capabilities or on the latest platform, they're using old technology that still have some of these vulnerabilities that they haven't you know, fixed uh, in their environment. So a comprehensive you know, security and compliance piece of software on top of the most secure platform in the industry, right, are, are two of the key ways to, to minimize the security vulnerabilities that so many customers are facing and that are so expensive today, particularly with the advent of, of the ransomware attacks that are occurring. Yeah, and it's really crucial for a safe way of, of working. Thank you, Steve, for sharing some great insights on how to transition your infrastructure in, in a secure way. And for the audience, Thank you for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you next time.